Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Don't buy into the hype. America is the greatest country in the world for a black man or black woman. Our economy, the 15th greatest in the world. The United States, of course, has the number one economy in the world. Ancestors have been through slavery, reconstruction, all types of Jim Crow racist laws. Civil rights knocked in the door. You can be anything you want to be in this country, man. So uh, everybody's trying to come here all over the world, trying to come to America. So somebody trying to tell you to leave and go somewhere else? What's their agenda, man? What, what, are, what are they trying to do? So uh, stay here, man. Don't believe the hype. Today we're going to talk about... Uh, Ignorance. The definition of ignorance is the lack of knowledge or information. Another definition can be the lack of knowledge or awareness. So, uh, pretty much, man, uh, it's like this, you know. If you um, don't know your rights or ignorant of certain things, they, they, can, they can come back to, to spank you, hurt you r real bad, man. Uh, if you don't know the consequences of certain actions, uh, again, not knowing the consequences of actions, man, bad decisions have bad consequences. So you gotta stay aware of things. So let me give you a, a good example. You can take somebody with a, you know, let's say you take a guy with a college degree and you uh, tell him to push a wheelbarrow full of uh, cement and, and, and hope he doesn't spill it the first time you give it to him. More than likely, he's gonna spill that whole barrel of cement because it takes a certain amount of balance and coordination to handle that. You get somebody, get somebody a sledgehammer and tell him to break some cement. They don't use the such hammer properly. They can hurt their back. They can slip out of their hand and hurt somebody close by them. So that's just that's manual labor. You ask the you ask the female to uh, to change a tire and she's never done one before. She, she might think it's rocket science, right? So it depends on what you've been exposed to, information you got, what you're aware of. It's going to dictate, you know, how you're going to exist in a certain environment. You know, so it's good to know certain things. It's good to know the law. It's good to to not make decisions when you're tired, might, might, don't make decisions when you're hungry, don't make decisions when you're stressed out of all possible, more than likely your decisions are, are going to be wrong, you know, they're going to they're be flawed. And sometimes those decisions you live with them for a long time. So, uh, you know, I want to basically say that um, a lot of times us black folks react too much emotionally, we, we don't think, uh, clearly think situations out, we're more emotional about what we're doing. So I think it's very important to, you know, when you, when you feel yourself in that emotional state, Take those deep breaths, man, and start start focusing on, on your mental response and not a, not an emotional response because uh, the mental response as well as the emotional response can have long lasting effects. You know, I'll give an example of a guy that was on a cruise boat, never been on it for first time on a cruise boat, paid his money for the ticket, and was not eating. You know, you know he, didn't, he didn't realize that the breakfast, lunch, and dinner was free, and and, and his ticket included the the price of all the food he wanted to eat. So. Just didn't know, man. You can't say, "Oh, you're stupid." You know, he, he clearly just didn't know, and he didn't he didn't venture out to ask. You know, but I would say my people are, are perished because of lack of knowledge, lack of you know being aware of something, lack of knowing what they should do. Uh, you get get a guy and you go in California, and he just happened to wear blue in an area where, where, where you got to wear red because you're a crib. You don't know about it. He get, he get killed or hurt, just not knowing. Uh, somebody somebody is honoring a color that much, not a person. So, man, that's life, man. You, know, you got to be aware. You got to be knowledgeable of what you're doing and what you're trying to get, what you're trying to gain life. You got you to be knowledgeable to know that, that some fields are going to be, uh, you know, as a buddy system, man. And, uh, and some people don't want to hire anybody they don't feel comfortable around. So if they're white and they run something and they don't feel comfortable around, you're more likely not going to get hired. Now that you're just exceptionally great at whatever you're doing, you're exceptionally great at whatever you're doing, you, 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 can, you can pretty much write your own ticket, man. So uh, I say, you know, uh, getting all those trades, man, all those trades that used to be offered freely in high schools, you know, did they kind of abandon them? Because, you know, a lot of times black people are really good with their hands. You know, fields like carpentry, or brick land, mason, you know, masonry, brick land, uh, electrician, plumbers, uh, all those type of things, man, those jobs pay good money. They pay good money your whole life because you get better and better at those things. Some people are going to be more um, geared toward college and, and you know, and, and, and book smart. Some people are just going to be physically inclined to do other things, you know, so you got to use every asset you have to succeed and make it in America. So, you know, that's pretty much what I got to say about ignorance. Uh, ignorance can be overcome. Stay black in America.